Hello, lovely viewers. You're watching Bipolar Opposite. I'm your guy, Tim Coven. Today, I will be talking to you about self harm. Okay. Now, I know I say that I go on the spectrum on this show from fun to serious. Well, except for suicide, this is as serious as it gets. Now, Let's talk about the reasons that people do self-harm. Well, one of the reasons is that it's a distraction from your problem. You know, saying, okay, I don't want to think about the problems I'm going through, so I'm just going to hurt myself. I mean, I guess you could say that it's the emotional pain becoming physical pain, and that, for some reason, balances out. I mean, yes, I can understand exactly how that scenario works. I mean, some people, they find it reassuring, saying, you know what, I got a shitty life, but I got the pain. The pain gets me through this. It's there, it's not going to abandon me. Some people do this punishment thing, I'm bad, my life is shit, I'm a horrible person, I deserve the pain. So, the people hurt themselves because they think, this is the deterrent. Some people even come to like the pain. Like masochism. It feels good. You know, saying, okay, you know what? That feels better. That feels better. I mean, it just, some people, it feels good. I had an ex girlfriend, she was a serious cutter. I mean, she would cut in school. She'd sneak into the art supply room and cut. She even got expelled from one of her schools for doing that. Did she like it? No. She did not like doing it, but. It felt right to her. She eventually went on to being put in mental hospital for almost two years, and that really, really stunned her. It just, and being her boyfriend, well, it was very hard for me, seeing me, I get to see her once every month or two, and it was just really bad. So, yes, self-harm has had an impact on my life. I mean, even when I was in high school, in middle school, I did self-harm because I hated my life. And yes, I understand exactly where all those people who do self-harm come from. Because it was reassuring. It was there, made me forget that I had problems. Punishment. It just, it was there. I had the pain, I could go over the pain, it was just there. I mean, I, uh, I ended up fusing bleach into my back at one point, which was pouring bleach on my back and then lighting it on fire, and that was that was the worst pain I've ever done. I rolled on my back, and it fused into my skin, so on my back I get boils and everything. It doesn't always work the same way. It just It's really not pleasant, so I don't go around without a shirt. It's just, I'm ashamed of it, so you know what? I had self-harm. I'm ashamed of it. I learned from it. Does everyone who self-harm learn from it? No, unfortunately. Would they could? Yes, but unfortunately, they can't. It just, it's there. So next time, Tim Cullen, out.